Doctor Jenks. Play math. Hello, my play math friends. It's Doctor Jen. Welcome back to my channel. Today's story is about Mr. and Mrs. Comfort, who are planning to throw a family reunion dinner, serving thirty-two guests. Mrs. Comfort perfectly arranges eight tables with four chairs per table to accommodate the guests. As the guests arrive, however, Mr. Comfort and the attendees begin shifting the tables to sit closer together, while ignoring Mrs. Comfort's exclamations that the new setups won't work. Are you curious to know whether Mr. and Mrs. Comfort finally find table arrangements to fit all of their guests? Don't forget to watch all the way through because when I finish the book, a fun after reading activity will follow. Are you ready for a story? Spaghetti and meatballs for all. Written by Marilyn Burns, illustrated by Debbie Tilly. One fine day, Mrs. Comfort was busy tending the lettuce patch in her garden. You know, it's been a long time since we've seen the family," she said to her husband. "You're right," answered Mr. Comfort. He was stretched out on a bench, doing what he liked to do best in a vegetable garden, reading a cookbook. Maybe it's time for a family reunion, Mrs. Comfort said. A wonderful idea, Mr. Comfort agreed. Hmm. Let's see. Menus, menus. Dinner for two. Serves four to six. Banquets. How many people would we be having? He asked. The Comforts called their children. They called their parents. Mrs. Comfort called her brother. Mr. Comfort called the next door neighbors, who were almost like family. Everyone could come. That's thirty-two people all together, including us. Mr. Comfort said. What could possibly fit in our oven and still fit thirty-two people? He wondered out loud. Why not make your famous spaghetti and meatballs? Asked Mrs. Comfort. Good thinking, said Mr. Comfort. Now, what about renting some tables and chairs? Asked Mrs. Comfort. She got out the telephone book. Two weeks later, the big day arrived. Mr. Comfort got up very early and spent all morning cooking. He baked sixteen loaves of garlic bread and made eight pounds of fresh pasta. He simmered eight quarts of spaghetti sauce and rolled ninety-six bit balls. Mrs. Comfort picked all her ripe tomatoes, cucumbers, and lettuce for salad. While Mrs. Comfort waited for the tables and chairs she had rented, she drew a seating plan. Then she got out the dishes, the silverware, the glasses, the tablecloth, and some vases. But when the rental company arrived, they were one chair short. "Don't worry," said Mr. Comfort. "You'll think of something." Mrs. Comfort found a folding chair. Now the tables were ready. Each had four place settings, four chairs, and a vase with lovely cut flowers. Mr. Comfort came out of the kitchen, balancing eight plates of celery and olives, one for each table. Just after noon, 
the comfort's daughter and her husband arrive with their two children. Welcome," said Mrs. Comfort. "Come sit," said Mr. Comfort. "Let's push two tables together so you can sit with us," suggested the Comfort's daughter. "But there won't be room," Mrs. Comfort said. "But there is," said Mr. Comfort. "There's plenty of room and plenty of garlic bread." Everyone was just about to sit down when a car pulled into the driveway. This is Comfort's brother and his wife, their daughter, her husband, and their twin sons all spilled out. "Welcome," said Mr. Comfort. "Sit down, sit down." "Oh, let's push you over to more tables so we can all sit together," said Mrs. Comfort's brother's wife. The comfort's daughter and her husband got up to help, but that won't work," said Mrs. Comfort. "You're so right," Mr. Comfort said. "We'll have to push two more tables together." "But that won't work either," said Mrs. Comfort. You are right," said Mrs. Comfort's brother's wife. "Make way!" shouted Mrs. Comfort's brother and the Comfort's son-in-law. They each carried over a table and put them side by side. "You don't understand," Mrs. Comfort sighed. "My plan was," but no one heard her. Everyone was too busy. Save some of the garlic bread for me. A new arrival called. Me too. Me too. Me too. Three more voices piped in. Well, look who's here," said Mrs. Comfort Brothers' daughter's husband. It was the Comfort's next door neighbors with their daughter and son. Hello, hello," said Mr. Comfort. "So glad to see you. Have a seat while I get more garlic bread. But there is no place for them to sit," said Mrs. Comfort. "Don't worry," said Mrs. Comfort Brothers' wife. "We'll just divide these tables into two groups of four." Go ahead," Mrs. Comfort said. "But I'm telling you, when you fret too much," said Mr. Comfort. "Bread, anyone?" When all of the tables had been rearranged, everyone sat down. "See, Mom," the Comfort's daughter said. It worked out just fine," Mrs. Comfort sighed. "Hiya, hiya, hiya!" boomed a familiar voice. Mr. Comfort's father, mother, and the little terrier strolled in. "Hello, Grandma! Hello, Grandpa!" the Comfort's daughter shouted. Oh dear," said Mrs. Comfort. "Where are they going to sit?" "No problem," said Mr. and Mrs. Comfort's next-door neighbor. "If we just push all eight tables into one long line, there will be room enough for everyone." Actually," Mrs. Comfort began to explain. Absolutely," said Mr. Comfort. He was carrying several big bowls of salad. Better move fast, or the salad will be really toast. No sooner had everyone gotten settled than Mrs. Comfort's mother and father dropped up in their yellow convertible. 
Hello, Grammy. Hello, Grams. The Comfort's daughter shouted. Mrs. Comfort put down her fork. Oh dear, she said. Don't worry, we're all family, right? Cram said. Let's just split this long line of tables in two. There will be plenty of room for us to squeeze in. But it still isn't going to work because, Mrs. Comfort started to say. A bowl of salad slid into her lap. Sorry," said one of Mrs. Comfort's brother's daughter's twin sons. Mr. and Mrs. Comfort and their eighteen relatives and neighbors were finally all seated. They passed the salad and the bread. They shared the celery and the olives. And when they heard the cheery "Hi, everyone," most of them held onto their plates. The comfort son and his wife paddled in on a bicycle for two. The twin daughters rolled in on skates. Didn't I tell you? Mrs. Comfort said. There's no enough room. No problem, Mom," said the comfort son. We'll just divide these two lines of tables into four pairs. Okie dokie. Wait, wait! You're all forgetting something," said Mrs. Comfort. "We're out of salad over here," the Comfort's daughter said. "Don't put any tomatoes in mine," said the Comfort's next-door neighbor's son. Is there more garlic bread? Asked Mrs. Comfort's mother. Who got my silverware? Asked Mr. Comfort's father. Hey, Mrs. Comfort brother's daughter's son said to his twin brother, "That's my bread you are eating." Get your fingers out of my salad! The Comfort son's daughter said to her twin sister. Don't play with your food. Said the comfort son's wife. What did you say? Asked Mister Comfort. I said, Missus Comfort said. Beep beep! A big red van parked at the curb. Out jumped Missus Comfort's sister with her husband and their triplets. All three of the triplets had brought their boyfriends, who were also triplets. Now, do you see what I mean? Mrs. Comfort asked. Where are they all going to sit? Well, my dearest," said Mr. Comfort. "I haven't served the spaghetti yet. We'll just move a few chairs, set a few places, and there will be plenty of room for everyone." I give up," cried Mrs. Comfort. She sat down in her chair and didn't budge. I say we divide the four pairs of tables into eight single tables," Mrs. Comfort's brother said. He and his wife moved one pair of tables apart. The triplets and their boyfriends moved the other three pairs. You see," said Mister Comfort. "It all worked out. I see everything is back exactly the way I had it," said Missus Comfort. "I knew you'd think of something," said Mister Comfort. "Now, how many meatballs would you like?" The end. Now it's time for a fun activity. To do this activity, you'll need eight square wooden blocks to represent the tables, and thirty-two square cubes to represent the chairs. Pretend we're going to help Mr. and Mrs. Comfort rearrange the tables to accommodate all guests. Have your kid come up with various ways to arrange tables. 
using all eight wooden blocks and see how many guests can sit by placing one cube for each side of the wooden block. Help your kid realize that they will lose spots for two people by pushing two blocks together. By doing this activity, kids can learn different configurations using the same number of wooden blocks, create different perimeters while keeping the same area. I really like this activity since it helps kids explore area and perimeter in real-world context, like planning dinner. Thank you for watching Play Math. To read more math picture books and do after reading activities, please subscribe to this channel. See you next time!